we're going to turn to one of the questions. Maybe we could do it just that one for today. Yeah. Um, when you were reading chapter three of the book, uh, you came across um, the section where it says that all the, king <clears throat> all the kingdoms of the world don't belong, uh, sorry, if all the kingdoms of the world didn't belong to Satan, could he have offered them to Jesus? And that little bit shocked you, he said. But the suggestion that the kingdoms of the world belong to Satan. Tell us a bit more about your feelings on that. Um, well, the earth belongs to Jehovah, Psalm 24, verse 1. He owns the entire earth, unless Psalm 24, correct. 1 is, is wrong. So, but there are two no, kingdoms. Yeah, but there are two kingdoms, which are both spiritual kingdoms. One is Satan's kingdom, which is a spiritual kingdom. And at the present time, Christ has a spiritual kingdom that he's, he's um, building up. Now, yes, after Armageddon, Satan's kingdom will be destroyed. And yes, after Armageddon in the eternal state, um, we shall reign upon this earth. Revelation chapter 5, verse 10. Uh, and Christ's kingdom will then be both physical and spiritual. But at the present time, it's a, it's a rivalry between two spiritual kingdoms. So Satan doesn't own the building. Satan doesn't own the gold. Satan doesn't own the the streets satan doesn't own the buildings he doesn't own the roads satan owns nothing physical in this w world except for the people who are under his control who are part of his spiritual kingdom um precisely yeah that, that's exactly the point he owns their and controls their minds uh, you know that scripture in corinthians it says um in fact maybe it'd be good if we could actually find that scripture the God of this system is blind in the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the illumination of the glorious goodness of the Christ. Mm. You're familiar with that? Yeah, verse, two, are you? yeah 2 Corinthians 4. four. Yeah. So, yes, that's right. So we're in, a, we're in agreement that he does control their mind. And as such, um, he is like a puppeteer in that sense. Uh, it, it, going back to that picture you referred to there, in chapter 3 of the book, page 12. Um, I don't know if you, 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 you have sight of it or you can remember it, anyway. Um, I can't, right. no. No, which book? No. But it's, it's the, what can the Bible teach? The one you read, um, which you made reference to. Yeah. Yes. Basically, it, it brings up the story of the three temptations of Christ. You remember, he fasted for... 40 days and at the end of it Satan tempted him first turn stones into bread then jump off the battlements of the temple because God says I'll protect you and he says I'll put God to the test and then finally he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in an instant and said if you bow down to me just do one act of worship and I'll give all these to you and Jesus tell him to get lost basically he didn't say to he didn't say to Satan, "It's not yours to offer anyway." He didn't say that, did he? I don't think he, he offered said, him the. No. I I don't think Satan offered him the kingdoms of the world. I think it was the authority that he had that he he offered him. In Luke four six, the devil said to him, "All this authority I will give you and their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish." So, although Satan does take tell <laughs> lies, and we must be careful about um quotes in the bible when it's the devil speaking it's not the physical kingdoms of the world that satan's offering to jesus it's the authority that he has over his own kingdom the people who are in rebellion to jehovah god that's why the reference to authority and glory are used in luke chapter 4 verse 6. right yeah so you're reading from the king james version yes uh new king james george okay um, okay, so you showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. So, yes, he's, he's basically offering him the authority. Now, obviously, if he's going to get the authority of these kingdoms, then it means he's going to have some sort of rulership in it. Would you agree that far? Sorry, you need to define what you mean by rulership. <laughs> I don't know no. what you mean. Yeah, so, <laughs> So I'm, I'm saying, if he's offering the authority of these kingdoms, 
no, 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 no. What do you no, think that means? Okay. No, no. It's he doesn't offer him the authority of the kingdoms. He offers him the authority of the kingdom in the singular, which is Satan's own kingdom, which is simply the people who Satan rules over. Satan doesn't rule over France and and Britain and America and Russia and China and Bulgaria and Taiwan and Australia. Satan okay. rules so over let's the people. As you rightly said, we, we don't want to we don't want to mislead you or say anything wrong. So let's yeah. just let the scripture talk to you, you showed him how many of the kingdoms of the world did you show him? Did you specify a number? Well, you need to actually read the verse to me and give me the reference. Because I'm in, oh, sorry, I'm in I Luke. Thought, I you, thought you were looking at the verse. Oh, I, I'm in, I'm in Luke. Looking I'm looking at, at Luke, Luke chapter 4, verse 6. Are you looking at it right now? Yep. Yeah. Yes? Yep. Yeah. So, could, could you read it for me verbatim, verbatim please? Um, verse 4, Luke 4, 4. But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then the devil, taking up to, on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority... Oh, oh, can I no, can I just finish can I finish the verse to get the context and the devil said to him all this authority I will give you and their glory for this has been delivered to me and I give it to whomever I wish good so let's go back over it then you showed him what he all. showed him he showed him the the glory of the kingdoms of the world but Satan's kingdom is not uh, what he showed Jesus it's not the physical uh, kingdoms that Satan owns it's the spirit Satan has one kingdom, it's a spiritual kingdom, it's the people who are in rebellion to Jehovah God. Satan doesn't own one blade I of grass, it. he doesn't own one stone, he doesn't own the gold, he doesn't own the buildings, he doesn't own the houses, he doesn't own the roads. Satan owns nothing in this world except for the people who are in rebellion to Jehovah God. Because the earth is I Jehovah's. Hear you loud and clear, Robert. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hear you loud and I do hear you loud and clear, uh, Robert. Uh, yeah. Very much appreciate your, your thinking on that. But like I said, I, I just want to be guided by what exactly what I see in that verse. Um, and I don't want to sound as if I'm contradicting you, because you're, you're, you sound like a very kind-hearted, genuine person, and I, I like to treat you with all the dignity and respect for that. But um, just uh, it record, it, this takes me back to a time when we were first learning the Bible, and my mother had a certain view. And the brother had a discussion with us. He was very calm. And he, he, he asked my mother a question. And she had, she had, he had to ask her to read the verse several times before she saw the point. Um, I'm not suggesting for one moment, that, uh, you know, questioning your, your intelligence in any way. But sometimes we can miss a very obvious point staring at us. I, well, let me just state at this point. I do absolutely agree with you that Satan is a thief. He doesn't own anything on the mm -hmm. planet. You know, it doesn't belong. It doesn't really belong to him because God is merely tolerating him. And the time is coming when God is going to just, just get out of here. This is my world. And yeah. You're a thief. <laughs> yeah. So I absolutely agree with you on that. He doesn't really own anything. He didn't create anything. He's a thief and a liar. So I'm on one hundred percent on your side. But I, I'm just trying to. Uh, I also pick on another point which we agree on. The only thing he actually owns is the minds and hearts of people that you've stolen from God. Basically, Satan's own mission in life is to steal from God. He stole Adam and Eve's heart from God in the Garden of Eden, didn't he? You know, God intended a beautiful uh, prospect for our parents and the human family, but Satan came along in the nick of time when they were both young and naive and fooled them, he deceived them and stole their heart from God. But God hadn't given up. God's purpose ultimately is to win back the entire human race and restore order to the universe and planet Earth. Eventually, God will triumph because, you know, it, it, it speaks in the Bible of the time where all creation will once again give glory to God because they will come back in the resurrection of the righteous and the unrighteous, give them a chance to redeem themselves and come back into God's universal family. So effectively, all the people that Satan has stolen from God, the majority of them, ultimately, at the end of the thousand years, will come back to God. So God will score a massive victory over Satan. So I'm 
stand in agreement with you. He's a liar and a thief. The world doesn't belong to him. He's simply stolen the hearts and minds of people. You see my point? So we actually agree with each other. But I would just point out one little technicality. The fact that he controls their minds and hearts, um, oftentimes you will find that even with the nation of Israel, God's chosen people, he tried to steal their minds and hearts. And there were times where there were wicked kings like Manasseh, you know, for, just to mention one, who deviated from true worship. And in deviating from true worship, you automatically find yourself on Satan's side, don't you? Do you agree with that principle? If you deviate from worshiping the true God and you start to worship the Baal images and so forth, then automatically who's got your mind and heart? Um, mm -hmm. George, when you speak to me, you really need to make one point, because if you make multiple points, I'm, I'm kind of old. Um, I'm going to just forget what you were talking about five minutes ago. So it, it's easier to make oh, one single point. That. I really think you're barking up the wrong tree here, because um, I, um, perhaps if we leave it for today, I'll think about what you've said. Okay. Um, but... Um, I can assure you that Satan's kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. It's not a physical kingdom. And if you want to try and convince me that Satan owns the UK and Satan owns the United States and that sort of thing, um, you need to really kind of prove that to me from the Bible. Um, uh, uh, okay. Because we, I... We can pause at this point. Yeah, because I, I have we read in your literature... Um, I, I, I have been... When I... When when the lock when I was um, when there wasn't a lockdown, I go to a pubby bar type place with lots of other older people, and you can buy a meal and some coffee and have innumerable innumerable refills, and so I can stay there with my laptop. And I I've been on JW.org doing online searches for hours. Um, it says in the watchdown for the fifteenth of September, nineteen eighty two, pages seventeen and eighteen that my country, the United Kingdom, and the United States are of the devil. And that kind of shocked me. Um, God's Kingdom of a Thousand Years has approached. That's published in 1973. Page 25 says, Revelation's false prophet is the dual power of Britain and America. And I can go on with other examples. Um, so, you know, if you wish to prove this to me, um, we need to agree to speak again at another time. Give me some time to prepare and look at this. But you need to prove it from the Bible conclusively. And um, Luke chapter 4 and Matthew 4 do not say that Britain and America are of the devil. You can read that into the text. I've, you know, I'm, I'm, an el I'm an elderly man. I've spent many times speaking to Mormons and uh, I've spoken to the, the um, Christadelphians. They're quite tricky Christadelphians. But all they and, and, and there was a Seventh Day Adventist pastor who came to my flat for three months, and he never answered any questions. He just kept giving me books and DVDs and photocopies. Well, just read this. This will answer all your questions. Well, it's not my business to read reams and reams and reams of material to prove Seventh Day Adventist doctrines. If if Seventh Day Adventism is true, it's up to the Seventh Day Ad Adventist pastor to prove it. And after three months, I had to ask him to leave because he was wasting my time. He wasn't asking, he wasn't answering any questions at all. I had a crisp box filled with about 20, 20 books, about 20 to 30 DVDs and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photocopies. And in the end, I was on the 14th floor. There's a chute that we use as a bin. I got the whole box and I shoved the whole lot down the chute because it was a waste of my time. He just kept giving me more and more materials. Now, I'm a very pedantic person. If I look at something, I look at things in exact detail, very, very precisely. And I find it fascinating. I do believe we're in the last days. Um, I do believe that um, the things of God are important. Jehovah, I think it's important. But you're not going to sort of look at something, a whole topic, in 15 minutes. It takes a lot of time. No. But you have to have the attitude right. that the Seventh-day Adventist pastor didn't have of look, I'm going to answer questions. 
because he came to my flat that with the attitude that he wasn't going to answer any questions. He's just going to give me a sort of, it was like a tsunami. It was like seeing the Japanese tsunami, endlessly just throwing books and DVDs and photocopies at me. And um, mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's an important issue. But um, I have done a bit of a study because when I looked at what can the Bible teach us, page 33, paragraph mm -hmm. 11 says all governments belong to Satan. So that's yes, a claim that needs that, to be that, proven. Well, well, if you're saying to me you want to pause at this point, I'm quite happy to do that. But if you wanted to me to carry on with that, I'm oh yeah, quite happy look at it some that. other time, but in bite-sized chunks. Okay. Yeah, uh, in, okay. in bite-sized chunks. So I will, I will really, really look at this. I will really look at this in mm -hmm. great in great detail because I, I find it totally fascinating. But the claim that all governments belong to Satan, you either need to prove that. You see, it needs to okay. be proven conclusively. We'll that. Yeah. Um, the other could, thing. Could you just could you just re, could you just re, <clears throat> reiterate um, what your understanding is <clears throat> about the kingdom? So I could just write it down and then clear in our mind what you think, and then we can see do our research in the scriptures so as to come back yeah. to you from the Bible. And give you the answer, if you don't mind. Please. Yes, of course. Well, I believe that um, Jehovah owns this earth. Psalm 24, verse 1. Uh -huh. There's other psalms as well. But Psalm 24, verse 1 says the earth is Jehovah's. So he owns yeah. this earth. Um, I believe there's two kingdoms. There's Satan's kingdom, which is a spiritual kingdom. I believe there's Jesus's uh -huh. kingdom, which is also at the present time a spiritual kingdom. After Satan's defeat, okay. after Armageddon, in the eternal state, we are going to reign upon this earth. And um, it will then be a physical and a spiritual kingdom. But at the present time, it's, it's a rivalry between two spiritual kingdoms. The Bible is not really very concerned with the nations of this world. Um, I do believe that government okay. is instituted by God. That's Romans yeah. 13 verse 1. Um, I don't want to preach, or, <laughs> but from the studies that I've no, done... No, 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 um, because we, we love to listen to people's viewpoints, and we have to reason on the scriptures, because that's what Jesus yeah. told us, you know, about the Bible. Yes, Sharon, yes. But it should all be based on the Bible. What, I, what I'd like to say as well, um, oh yes, if you could um, give us your argument, from the scriptures, I mean, you've given some of them here, but your arguments as to why you believe um, those things. What? I mean, what, what things? Well, all of the points, really. Well, the bit about the two kingdoms, Satan and Jesus, we believe that. We definitely believe that Satan has his own kingdom. He set up his own kingdom. And right. that Jehovah has his kingdom with Jesus Christ reigning. So we agree on that. Yes, yes. He believes that Jehovah owns, owns everything, which is very true. He owns the whole earth and the planets and everything. But as regards um, the rulership, we believe that um, Jehovah has allowed Satan to, um, to, to have his kingdom and to rule this earth invisibly. But you see, Sharon, but that's up to you. Sorry, sorry, Sharon, I beg your pardon. Yes, go on. No, no go I on. Beg, your, beg your pardon. No, yeah, you carry on, Robert. Um, but that's up to you to prove, not me. I'm not the one saying that the British government's of the devil. So I, I, I'm just ambivalent on um, human government. I don't think the Bible, the, the Bible says in Romans 13, verse 1, that the authorities that exist are appointed by God. So the principle of human government is instituted by God, not by Satan. And um, if you disagree with that, um, you're the one, the onus is on you to prove that, not upon, not, not upon me. Um, you, you know, um, there's another verse in John 19, 11, where Jesus before Pilate tells Pilate that Pilate's authority comes from God. Now, the Roman government was a very wicked government, did a lot of wicked things. But Jesus in John 19, verse 11 says, 
Jesus answered, you could have no authority at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Therefore, the one who delivered me to you has the greatest sin. Now, when Jesus says to Pilate, your authority comes from above, he's talking about from Jehovah. So he's saying that the principle of human government comes from God. Yes, many governments abuse that power. Pilate abused that power when he falsely sentenced Jesus to death. And many governments, including my own government, do things which I would dis dis disapprove of. Um, just as many religions do things that I would disapprove of. But the principle of government is from is is from God. And, and Jesus' own words to Pilate is that Pilate's authority is from above, from Jehovah. Now, I don't really need to substantiate that. If you disagree with that and believe the British government's of the devil, then you know, the well, onus is I'm on you to... to your, to your yeah. Mm -hmm. it, so, it... So, so we agree on that, that, the, that uh, Jehovah God, he allows the government to rule, and he, it's better to have governments than to have no governments, otherwise we'd have anarchy. So that's why it says um, mm. in the Bible that we have to obey the superior authorities, and that's why... Jehovah's Witnesses are very obedient. Uh, I'm not sort of bigging us up, but yeah. they're, they're obedient to the superior authorities in what they have to say, because the Bible tells us to. So, you know, Jehovah um, has placed them in that position to a certain degree, um, so we have to show respect to them. So in that sense, Jehovah has put them there. But I'm not going to go through all of it with you now. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm sure, sure, yeah. Yeah. understand your thinking as to yeah. where you're coming from yeah so don't, don't feel i'm trying to um put you on the spot no no that no, no asking you those questions no no i, I won't be offended the slightest no. there's always two sides to an argument isn't there yeah and yeah not saying argue, or to, to reason on something there's yeah. always two sides yeah you can't just go with one side so i'm just trying to understand where you're coming from yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, um, we, we, we'll leave it for the for the for the for the for the moment. But you must understand, it's your literature that says all governments belong to Satan. That's what can the Bible teach us? Page thirty three. You know, it's not a comment that I'm making, so I don't have to substantiate that because I don't believe that. But if your literature teaches that, the onus is on you to substantiate that. Um, yes, that was fine, and, and well, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'm yeah. happy to substantiate you yes. with the evidence and the yes. proof yeah, the sure, Bible. Sure. Yeah, sure, um, sure. I, I mean, of more in, more importance to me would be Jesus' physical resurrection from the dead. My background is in the evangelical church, so I would kind of... I was a bit puzzled by your literature saying that Jesus had a spiritual resurrection, but, hey, maybe for some other time, but that's something that I've also been looking at for several months. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. So, so probably we'll we'll uh, look at the kingdom one, Sharon. Okay. 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 All right, then, Robert. All right. Thanks, Sharon. Have Thank a good you, George. Day, my Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice have a good day. day. Good day. Bye bye. 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 Bye.